Well, here I am in Damascus, Virginia. And this is actually a spot where I will hike through this iconic little entry point to the town of Damascus in about 12 days, I guess. Uh, it turns out Trail Days, which is an annual festival for a hiker, the hiker community, will be happening maybe that weekend. It's May 14, 15, 16, something like that. Um, that's about the time I'll come back through here. So the trail just comes out of the woods back here behind me, up between those houses, and then uh, comes right through here. So anyway, I left uh, Cincinnati at about 3.45, almost four o'clock this morning, and just pulled into Damascus five and a half hours later. Uh, cool, so thus begins my 2021 section hike pilgrimage uh, Appalachian Trail journey. Stay tuned. And this is where I left off last year, the Laughing Heart Hostel. About to begin the next leg of the journey. See you on down the trail. In Hot Springs, hiking along the sidewalk with the, uh, the AT symbol in the sidewalk there. And this is the little trailer, um, Jennifer Farr Davis. I'm reading her book right now, Becoming Odessa. Well, not right this moment, but uh, this is one of her little spots with her backpacking company. Just making my way down to the downtown of Hot Springs. I gotta find an outfitter there and pick up one more pair of socks for the trail. Just to make sure I don't wet out some socks and not have my third pair. So, heading down. And here we go. This is what I would call the first white blaze of the day. Got the French Broad River right here. Hot Springs straight ahead that way back over the bridge. Little trailhead here on the north side of Hot Springs. It's into the woods we go. Now, some people talk about the nervousness, nervous stomach issues. Kind of have a nervous stomach right now as I go into the woods. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where I will land. I think I should have about 10 miles to a shelter on this first evening. Sun's out right now a little bit. It's partly cloudy. It was raining quite a bit, but the rain has quit. So let's hope that holds out. See you on down the trail. I've only been on the trail for a few minutes. The French Broad River seems a little bit angry right now. Water looks a little higher than it usually is. Quite a soundtrack though for hiking. trail got steep in a hurry. Just day one. Just hour one. I'm already breathing hard, as you can probably tell. But so far so good. Still seeing white blazes. Enjoying the trail. This is a nice little section i know on the video you can't tell the elevation really this is almost flat undulating a little bit uh it's what they call cruisy so it's a good trail for cruising along um so far going through the rotted engine tunnel here the green tunnel of the at you can see what's coming ahead of me there um yeah, so far, it's been nice. The first mile out of Hot Springs, coming up kind of to elevation, the first climb, uh, definitely gave me a little burn in the calves and the quads. Um, but to the last mile, I've maybe gone two, three at the most so far. Um, this section is really nice. And it's just amazing and great to be back on the trail. Uh, past one through hiker so far, she and her dog have been out on the trail about 30 days. 
So uh, that was cool, just to chat for a minute. Had a big dog that came right to me, um, which embarrassed her. She was apologetic, but it was fine. Beautiful, large dog. Uh, so anyway, so far, it has been a glorious day on the Appalachian Trail. It's always cool to come across a spot that you recognize from everyone else's videos. This little pond here, I can't remember what, what people call it, but good spot to have a seat and a rest. But I'm just gonna continue on. Woo, things are heating up. That was a long, slow incline. Back there, here's a little blue blaze to the rich mountain fire tower. I'm gonna say no to the blue blaze. We're whited out here in fog. It's just kind of sprinkling. It's been drizzling, sprinkling pretty much the whole time. Um, won't have a view up there anyway, so. No thanks to extra miles. Ooh, this little mountain's kicking my butt. This is straight uphill. In the video, I'll, I'll show you a quick uh, side view of the, the elevation view and gut hooks. Check it out. Off in the distance, I see a shelter. It's a beautiful sight. Because I am done. See what's going on. Well, that is the end of day one. Uh, ended up being just under 12 miles hiking for the day. And, uh, survived so got to the shelter the uh, mountain spring shelter or spring mountain shelter um, it's completely full tents everywhere so it's a busy time on the trail and uh, I just it was raining so I set up pretty quickly and didn't even eat I'm not really hungry so I'll just eat a big breakfast in the morning with my coffee and so we'll see you on day two catch you later
about 48 degrees right now. Uh, it took me a while to pack up camp today. Um, just getting in the groove, figuring out, getting in the rhythm of uh, backpacking again. It's just after 10 a.m., so this is a late start. Thankfully, we got some blue skies, a little bit of sunshine peeking through. Oh, <laughs> root. And uh, just connecting back up with the trail. Uh, I was just up the hill from the shelter. As you can see the shelter down there. It was packed with probably 10 or 12 people last night. Uh, maybe eight, it's a small shelter. And then there were at least 10 or 12 more tents around the area. So a lot of people on the trail. All right, I am going to, uh, speaking of the trail, get to it. And hello, Alan Gap. Just came out of the woods. Probably only been hiking a couple of miles, two, three at the most. Um, coming out to a road here. Alan Gap, a good little spot for a pickup or a shuttle if you need it. Cherokee National Forest. Crossing the road and heading right over there. And here we go, back in the woods. It's been a nice section of trail this morning so far. Almost time for a lunch stop here at some point. But uh, I've been praying with my feet. So we tour on Milando. It's solved by walking down the trail. Little Laurel Shelter. I'm headed right here. 7.3. Get to Jerry Cabin Shelter. Right now I gotta go find some water. This is what we call the Blue Blaze. It's a short trail off of the AT, usually either to a shelter or to water or to some kind of uh, like overlook or site, tourist site. And sometimes a trail looks like this, just a rooted mess, a root covered mess. Gotta figure out where to your feet to try to avoid as many roots as possible. So foot placement on the AT is very important. And for that reason, you're often looking down at your feet. And after a while, that takes a toll on your neck. And your back. Mm. Some technical spots where you have to Avoid rocks as well. This isn't too bad, but there are much worse spots than that for rocks. Oh, and then relief. Nice, soft dirt path. These lovely white rocks are proving to be somewhat tricky. I'm up in the area of uh, Jones Meadow and uh, White Rock Cliffs, basically between Little Laurel Shelter and Jerry Cabin Shelter. Um, this little White Rock section is, oh, it's tough. Especially when your legs are tired, you've got to raise and lower your feet a little more carefully. of these flowers now. This is, I think, the first time I've ever seen this particular flower on the trail. Took me a while to figure this out, but um, this double blaze tells you that the trail is about to take a turn or has an intersection. And this is, this means it's gonna turn to the left. It's about 6 p.m. Thursday, my second day of hiking. 
finally after 12 miles yesterday and nearly 15 miles today we're up with this sorry about the loud noise oh yeah here's the ridge i'm about to finish hiking up hiking along this ridge Beautiful scenery. It's good to be on the mountaintop again. Look at that section back there. That's cool. There it is. money shot right there <laughs> well look at what I found here can you see that 300 miles of course I didn't hike those 300 miles consecutively this year but that does mean I have completed 300 miles of the Appalachian Trail good times yeah, time for some night hiking. Trying to pull a 20 mile day on day two. Just to get away from the crowd a little bit. The last shelter was pretty crowded. And if I do a little extra mileage today, might be able to catch a shuttle at Sam's Gap and then meet up with Greg Saturday afternoon. Get off the trail for a night. It's supposed to be the coldest night tomorrow night, so that'll be good. But uh, my legs are done for the day. Hopefully, I've only got about two more miles in the dark.